come with us to have a perfect meal. <laughs> We need some coffee. <laughs> Come with us to have the perfect day on Disney's private island, Castaway Key. Hey everybody, it's Molly and Alan from Mammoth Club, and we're on the Disney Dream. That's right, and today is our Castaway K? Key? K. Key. K. Key? We're at Disney's private island, and we're bringing you with us for all the fun today. Uh, first we need coffee, though. That is true. One thing I love on Disney Cruise Lines is that room service is always complimentary and it's 24 hours. And if you would like to have a little breakfast, all you have to do is leave the little hanging door tag they provide you out by 3 a.m. Um, and it's nothing super fancy. You can get coffee, fruit. Under here we've got some pastries and they can bring like jams and jellies and stuff. They can do cereal as well. Um, but it's just a nice little way to start your day because now we get to have a cup of coffee with this as the view. Room service can also bring you things like Mickey premium bars. They can bring you cookies and milk. They have like savory options as well, like burgers and wings. Always free, you just tip. Very, very A plus service here aboard Disney Cruise because I mean, who doesn't want to have coffee in the morning with this? I do. Coffee? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's a late night at the silent disco last night, friends. It was. <laughs> Castaway is one of the most popular destinations on Disney cruises because again, it's Disney's private island here in the Bahamas. So most of the Bahama cruises go here. Um, there are several different beaches. There's a family beach, there's a teen beach, there's an adult beach, there's bars, there are characters, activities, food. I'm very excited and more excited because you've never been there. No, never been. This is Alan's first Disney cruise and we're having a ton of fun already, but Castaway Day is always really special and fun. What you doing? Just enjoying the view. Um, also, this is a good time for me to give you a pro tip to bring your own cup aboard a Disney ship. Another thing that's included on Disney cruises is soda, um, which a lot of cruise lines you have to pay a soda package, but soda is just included with all your food and everything. So if you bring a nice big cup, you can always get yourself soda, juice, coffee, whatever you'd like to put in there. Also, I had to bring my man fam sticker. Nice. And just like magic, we're dressed for the beach. Ta da. Make sure whenever you get off the ship that you have your C pass, which is like your Disney key that opens your room, um, as well as an ID. It doesn't have to be a passport. It can be a driver's license, even though you need a passport to get on the ship. Um, but you need those two things to get on and off board. Made it off the ship, hooray! So here there's cast members that are giving out towels. They will also fill your cooler with ice or you can purchase a cooler here if you'd like to, as well as some waters. You know we love an Easter egg. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to be big fans of this one. Bob Chapek Master Shipbuilder. That's nice. And then you've also got what I assume will be the more popular Damaro Dock. Look how beautiful the ship is. It's such a pretty bug. And there's a rainbow. Oh my gosh. Picture perfect. <laughs> gave me a hug, which is great. Hugging just recently came back on the cruise line. Um, it was back on land before it was at sea, um, and they have a variety of characters that will come out to various spots on the island. Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, Pluto, Captain Jack, and uh, you can see all their wait times or their times in the Navigator app. I found that on the cruise, the character meet and greet lines go very, very quick, um, even if they look a little long, but ugh. How cute is Goofy and his little legs. We've made it to the main portion of the island. This is where the family beach is, the bigger restaurant is, the bigger shop is. You can take a shuttle. There's a shuttle service throughout the island, like a little tram, think like a Disney parking tram. And um, it can drop you off here and then take you, there's another one that will take you onto the adult beaches where we're headed. But um, it's not a bad walk and it's a very beautiful walk. Only took us a few minutes to get here if you want to walk the first little bit. Here's the first of the little shops. And what is cool is that there is some merchandise you cannot get on the ship. So there is Castaway K -E -K, Key. Key. Exclusive Nailed stuff. It. Let's see what we need. Are there island hello? Are there island ears is the most important question. That's cute. Huh. Bird of Paradise with Donald. Nice. There's a tank top. Are you going to buy that tank top? Maybe. I like this one. Where it's like... I wish I was on the back. I'm more of a back of shirt kind of lady. How do you feel about the seagull? I like the seagull. Mine? Mine. That one's cute too with the kettlebell thing we just took a picture with. Ooh, I like that. Meet me here. 
These are cute. And while it's 10,000 degrees out here right now, I do really like the Castaway Key Spirit jersey that's like aqua tie-dye. Here's the family beach. This is obviously the biggest beach here. It fills up pretty quick with the good loungers up towards the front. So if you would like to grab a spot, you're gonna to wanna to get off early. There's also a teen beach and then an adult beach, which is where you're gonna see us hanging out. If you're more of like a shady, not sun, ocean kind of person, there is also um, shaded activities. There are also sports that are in the sun, like beach volleyball. You can pay extra to do things um, like rent bikes or rent inner tubes. There are uh, cabanas you can rent at each of the beaches. Those fill up really quickly as well. So I definitely recommend booking those early if you wanna do that. There are massages that you can get. This is definitely your most like relaxing day, I would say, because while there are different recreational activities, most everything on the island is geared toward just relaxing and having a nice time. Alan. Yeah. Do you want to get your hair braided? I would love literally nothing more. I don't know that you have enough hair. I don't know what you're talking about. A silky mane. Maybe they can tie that in. A beautiful Isn't silky good, mane. Like Anakin Skywalker style? Just so one just braid one. with one bead. I would love that. Well, if it works. Oh. That would be one of us. <laughs> Here's another little store. See if there's anything good in here. This is where you can get some of the 5K merch if you are the kind of person who wants to get up and run a 5K on vacation. It is free. You can sign up for free. They give you a rubber medal and everything, and it, it starts bright and early here on the island. I did it once, and as you can see, I did not do it today. And I want to highlight they do have some items in case you forgot them, like bug spray, sunscreen, goggles, etc., uh, in case you need those items. You know what this reminds me of? What? The landing strip in Jurassic Park 2. Uh, 3. Jurassic 3, you're right. Three. Little fun bonus fact, this is a real working uh, airplane takeoff landing strip, and before Disney bought it, it was used by um, bootleggers and drug runners, so fun. Fun fact. That is a fun fact. We love a fun fact. Gotta kick off my shoes, kick off my shoes. No free feet content. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to Serenity Bay. Ooh, nice intro. I thought you, did you think I was going to say Jurassic Park? I did for a second. I was kind of, it's, it's a vibe out here. It does feel like Jurassic Park a little bit on the island. Um, but this is Serenity Bay. This is the 18 and older beach no kids allowed you can rent floats you can rent snorkeling gear though this is not where the fun snorkeling is there is a restaurant here they do they set up the lunch here with a few upgrades i guess versus what everyone else gets and there is a bar here so this is where you will find me for the next approximately four to six hours yes a dog, dog. hi dog Oh my god. Do you think Kronk and Ella would have fun on the beach? Oh, not at all. Not at all. I think Ella would be she would terrified. Be stressed. Yeah, she would be stressed. Kronk would enjoy it. Kronk would have so much fun, but then he'd get real tired real fast. Oh yeah, for sure. Don't you hate sweet drinks? Yes, but I will make an exception on Mickey's private island. Alright, that's fair. This is the iconic pina colada. Half pina colada, half raspberry daiquiri. Double shot of rum. When in castaway. Do as the castaways drink. All right, we're on our way to lunch. It's very hard to walk in the sand. It's super hard to walk in the sand. I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> but there are three places that serve lunch on the island. Cookies and Cookies 2 are available for everyone. And then they serve mostly the same things um, here at Serenity Bay. There's a few like Zhuzh's up. They church it up a little bit for the adults only beach, but it's barbecue, burgers, nothing too fancy, but we're gonna check <sighs> it out and get some lunch. It was a workout getting here though. Oh, I'm tired. Wanted to point out the Castaway Bar as we walk past it as well. You can come here for bar service. You can see they've got tables and chairs, but there are also cast members, servers that walk up and down the beach and will take your order. They can bring you frozen drinks like I had earlier. They can bring you cocktails. They can bring you beers. 
non-alcoholic specialties as well, which is an awesome service that you don't have to leave your spot in the ocean. They'll literally serve you right there. And if you are so inclined, you can actually rent bikes and tubes here for the ocean while on the island as well. You want to do that? No. No There's exercise no shot today? I'm riding a bike right now. Ah, that's fair. A little trail ride? Think of the chafing, Alan. Oh, you're right. What do we got going on? We have a little potato, potato salad, salad. Yeah. a sweet corn salad. That sounds amazing. Macaroni salad, coleslaw, and then burger fixins. Burger buns, some chippies, vegetarian chili, Cajun spiced chicken, and then off the grill, they do burgers, salmon, ribs hot dogs, steak. Here you've got some brisket, sauerkraut, corn on the cob. Put a little tzatziki on my pasta salad, put a little garlic mayo on my burger, and a variety of baked goods as well. Lemon raspberry crumble loaf, a brownie, cornbread, chocolate chip cookies, and fresh fruit. I'm gonna come back for a lot of this, but I am gonna get some fruit right now. What are you trying? I'm trying the brisket first. It's actually pretty, pretty darn good brisket. The brisket itself is very smoky, just enough fat, tender, which is nice. Then there's a coleslaw on top that is just acidic enough to cut through some of the richness of the meat. Overall, really, really good. I'm just trying a burger, but I did find garlic mayonnaise to put on it, so. Ooh. It was made to order. They went and got me one off the grill. It does taste like a nice grilled burger. Is it anything special? No, but. Sometimes a good burger on the beach is the best thing, so no complaints. Rib cheers. Rib cheers. Oh, wait. <laughs> Ribs are probably the best thing. For sure. Good sauce. I mean, here's the deal. You're going to get a lot of really fresh hot food here, and I think that hits the spot, right? Not that it's going to be something you write home about, but it is something that you want, and it's going to just satisfy that need when you're out after a hot day on the beach. Yeah, I think this is my least favorite meal on a Disney cruise, just because the other meals are a little bit more of a step up, and this is like advanced cafeteria food, but huh. it's it not bad. It's, I mean, ribs, I think the ribs are the best as far as the flavor goes. Oh, I tend to agree with They did a really good job, and they're not, they're not overcooked, and that's something that could happen very easily in this situation. I also What's next? I put some tzatziki sauce on this pasta salad. Mm. What are your thoughts? Pasta salad is such a good summer food. Again, nothing amazing, nothing over the top, but I like that they provided a little bit extra variety at the adult beach. And it does the job. Can I have one of those? Yes, ma'am. It's dessert time. Why did you put your cookie in half? Because I'm going to put ice cream on it and make a sandwich. Beautiful. Thank you. Good? <laughs> Glad you like it. We're back at the main area, Scuttles Landing. We're gonna do some snorkeling. Um, but wanted to point out Olaf Summertime Freeze. This is an additional cost area where you can get different drinks, uh, non-alcoholic drinks like virgin daiquiris and coladas and different floats and freezies and stuff. This is Flipper's Floats where you can rent things like snorkeling gear, mats, etc., for the main beach, um, but I'm doing a walk up. You can book these things in advance, but we're doing a walk up to go snorkeling because there's some cool stuff under the water that even I will get wet to look at. We did find out that if you decide to book as a package, it's cheaper and that package includes the bike, tube, and flippers as well as the uh, snorkeling gear rather than doing any of those one things individually. So there's one section right here that's the snorkeling lagoon. You have to wear these cool yellow vests or a flotation device when you're snorkeling. So that way the lifeguards know you're not dead and you're just snorkeling. Um, you can get flippers if you want and under the water are like hidden Mickeys and like statues and stuff. So I'm excited. Oh yeah, professional. True professional. Don't fall over. <laughs> Walking backwards as to attempt to work at the flippers better. Um, I want to see a sharky, but there probably isn't a sharky. But but there could be turtles, fishies. 
You know what? It's a hair washing day, so we're just gonna come in. I know all of you are like, but you hate getting wet. Yeah, I do. But you know what? Some things are worth getting wet for. Worth it. That is my version of Olaf's quote. Sharkies! Where are you, Sharkies? Somebody else had their mouth on this. No, for sure. No, no one else has ever had their mouth on it. It's oh, fine. No? no? <laughs> I act like it's really deep. <laughs> <laughs> it's so deep. There's sand in my That was so fun. The, and a good workout too. Yeah, the buoy smart cool things underwater. $34, I think worth it. That was like a very Disney yeah. experience. Absolutely. That, that was awesome. I'm gonna fall over, but I, it was really, really fun. I'm very tired now though, and I've consumed so much salt water. Oh, I drained the ocean. <sighs> After an exhausting and lovely day on Castaway Key, we are headed back to the dream a little early because we have a martini tasting. I'm very much excited for that. Yes, the mixology classes are awesome. They're kind of a little hidden gem, I would say, on the cruise line. If you are old enough to drink, they're really fun. They have an educated bartender, a mixologist, a sommelier teach you about different things. Uh, so we're gonna head back and get on a little bit early. But what a time at Castaway Key. Have you, did you like it? I, yeah, I loved every second of it. It was great. I think in particular, the yeah, snorkeling adventure was a highlight for sure. It was very fun. And I'm very tired and let's go get a well-deserved shower and martini. Yes, let's get a martini. Okay, well, that was the fastest we've ever gotten ready. I've so never gotten ready that fast in my whole life. You look great. You did a great oh, job. Thank you. Off to martini tasting? Yes, we're headed down to Skyline, which is in the district area, which is where like a lot of the adult entertainment is, different bars and themes. There's a champagne bar, there's like a pub, and we are going to go do martini tasting. Heck yeah. One thing I love on the ship is that in all of the stairwells, yeah, yeah whatever the... Um, artwork is fits with the theme of what's on that floor so like four is where the theater is uh the movie theater which is why there is a lot four i'm sorry five is where the movie theater is so the stairwell between four and five has famous mickey cartoons and then the stairwell here between three and four has a big walt picture because the walt disney theater where the nighttime shows happens is between three and four so i really think that's a nice touch um over by like the sports deck there's clips of goofy doing that uh, Goofy playing sports in that cartoon. Uh, when we go to brunch tomorrow, there's pictures with Remy, and I just think that's a really beautiful touch. There's shuffleboard out there. There's so much to do on this ship. It's like overwhelming. You'll never get it all done. Like going on a Disney World trip or a Disneyland trip or Universal or anything else, you're never going to be able to do it all. So write down, you know, the most important things to you. You can reserve your onboard activities such as the tasting seminars, Bippity Boppity Boutique, your port adventures, the adult dinings, the spa in advance. When you can book depends on your level of the castaway club. So like the platinum and concierge guests get to book earliest, the first time guests get to book the latest. How do we start this martini? What is a martini? Story and how it was invented, it's not that clear. Like the drink itself. Martini, a long time ago, we used to divide in two basic categories. There used to be a classic martini made with gin and original made with vodka. Dry vermouth is nothing but a fortified wine with a complex formula of herbs and botanicals and spices inside. Dry martini means basically I will take this bottle, put a finger on top and try to hit the glass. <laughs> right? What a shake. If you say extra dry martini, same thing, but I'm trying to miss the glass. Right? You get a drink called blood and sand. Because I want to cover a lot of bases here. I count vodka, gin, rum. Yeah, because the, the, the inventor of this was one traitor. 
So the different uh, tasting classes are just that. They have bourbon tastings, wine tastings, champagne tastings, mixology class, we just did the martini one. They range from about $40 to $50 per person, and you try between like four to five like smaller cocktails. It's actually really unique and fun because the bartenders get to show off their unique skills, and the class can be different depending on which bartender you get. So it's really interesting that way. Yeah, our bartender was telling us all about his, he put his twist on a Cosmo, he put his twist on a classic martini, his twist on a chocolate martini. Um, it was really fun. What was your favorite? Um, I think it was the first he served us. It was a gin martini that had been on a series of different herbs and citrus. Uh, incredibly good served with a cucumber. What was yours? Mine was his twist on the Cosmo. With the big W. Which he, yeah, he called it the big W after his name, and he used blood orange uh, Contro, and he used Grey Goose Orange yep. um, as kind of his twist on a classic Cosmo. So if you're a drinker, if you want to try a couple of different things, it's very relaxing, enjoyable. Um, they're about an hour long. I think they're one of the best kept secrets and one of the best values right. if you're going to be drinking on the ship. And also if you want to learn something about what yeah. it is you're drinking, so there's no facts. better place to do that. Fun facts. I know the history of the martini now. Yeah. I, I know why martini glasses were shaped the way they were because um, in addition to the rumor that it was shaped after Marie Antoinette's um, body part um, that in Prohibition era if you throw it on the ground it smashes into a million pieces so therefore no trace uh, there's, no, there's no trace if the cops raid you it also keeps your glass cold or your drink cold because you hold it by the stem and you don't warm it up with your fingers so if you're like us and you like learning fun facts alcohol fun facts fun facts Headed now up to deck 11. This is the main pool deck. Um, and in the adult only section of the pool deck area where there's adult pools, there's bars, there's an adult only coffee bar. Now the coffee there does cost extra. It's not included because um, it's specialty coffees like lattes. They do cocktails there as well, some munchies. But we needed a little afternoon pick me up. Perfect timing as I walked on the pool deck. We're sailing away from Castaway. You can see it leaving it's off in the distance. Um, and the ship is very special because instead of just a normal whistle that blows when, when we're moving, it plays Disney songs. So it does like When You Wish Upon a Star, It's a Small World, Yo Ho Yo Ho, Pirates Like For Me. Just little magic touches. Okay, coffee. Speaking of magic. <laughs> Headed into the Cove Cafe. And I love this little coffee shop because you probably know I'm a huge Walt nerd and it's all decorated with pictures of Walt Disney uh, on different vacations around the world, some of them with his wife and his family. A couple of the pictures are a little magic, so if you watch them for a second, a character might appear. Oh, there they are. You can buy cigars in here as well. Here's Walt working on the Jungle Cruise. I love that picture, but this one's my favorite. It's him and his wife dancing. I just adore it in here as someone who loves both coffee and Walt and history and details. It just feels really fun here. And again, they do do cocktails in here. Um, starting later in the day, you can do cocktails. They do some munchies as well, pastries and then cheese plates and such. Great little hideout for the adults. I asked the bartender, Abby, what his favorite meat drink to make is and he said an old-fashioned and ironically that's also my favorite drink to consume so how could I say no we also got some cold brews cheers um, but let's try Abby's signature old-fashions oh. Abby you've done it Abby it's definitely not sweet definitely taste that that bourbon that's one of the best old-fashions I've ever had Spicy, smoky, just enough orange chest. Uh, do yourself a favor. If you want a Disney cruise, ask the bartender to make something the way they like it and just try it. Just do something. Even if you don't like it, you're going to experience something new that is very unique. Uh, and
and you might have something that opens the door to a new favorite of yours. Yeah, or tell them what your favorite cocktail is and ask them to make it their favorite way. Because every bartender, as we've learned through these mixology classes, has their twist on each classic cocktail, so you can learn something new. Um, but anyway, the moral of the story is I came for a coffee and I ended up with a cocktail, and I'm not mad about it. Same. So tonight is pirate night on the Disney Dream, and that is the singular night where it is themed to pirates. So the music throughout the ship, the characters, everything is themed to be rather rather piratey. Uh, and I believe, Molly, correct me if I'm wrong, most cruises do have a themed evening. Yeah, yeah right? it's kind of a Disney Cruise Line special. The characters are dressed like pirates, which is what I'm making us go do right now is meet characters in their pirate outfits. Which even Alan's very excited about it. I love pirates. There's even pirate fireworks! Just to be clear, I do love meeting characters. I love meeting characters. Like, love it. I don't care that I'm an adult. I am the Disney adult you're mad about. Or probably not if you're watching this. I'm the Disney adult people complain about, and I don't care. So with that being said, I also enjoy it. I think I have a different perspective having worked in entertainment for years. Uh, so that it hits a little bit of a different spot for me, but uh, it makes me happy to see other families be happy meeting, meeting characters because it's, uh, it's very special. I'm sorry to get distracted, but a lot of families dress up for pirate night, and I just watched a family go by, and their toddler was dressed like a shark. <laughs> <laughs> it was very cute. We did not dress up. Don't worry. Disney Cruise Line has us covered. That'll do it. That'll do it. We're dressed now. We're themed now. Seriously, though, there's tons of families in, like, full costumes. And, like, hey, do I love committing to a bit and wearing a full costume? Yeah. Did I also buy too many outfits for this cruise and I wanted to wear this white linen dress? Also, yeah. Big smile over here. And one more. Beautiful woman. I got it. Perfect. Perfect, folks. Thank you. She's still going. She's giving you all the poses. She's giving you all the poses. She knows. She's like, I'm a queen. I have a lot of angles. Love you, baby. We are on our way to meet our friends because we have decided, since Pirate Night has a menu that is the same across all the restaurants on the ship, that we're going to do a little bit of a crawl and go sample a lot of the different menus that you, well, would need some time to sample because there's just so many across the ship. In fact, there's even extras that we want to do. Yeah, there are so many places to eat on board. There's the three main restaurants, but there's also the adult signature restaurants. You can do room service. You can do the quick service buffet. You can do uh, a lot of the different adult locations where we're headed now, do noshes as well. So there's just so much to eat and so little time. Right, and... We've got some happy hours to hit because there are happy hours on the ship. Yes, there are happy hours at the pub, at the champagne bar, at the pool bar, um, and they have different activities as well. So one of those activities is trivia, and that's happening at the pub right now. So we're going to go head up, meet with our friends, get a beer, get some tachos, play some trivia. Win some trivia. That's, I'm sorry. Thank you. 
Welcome to Pub 687. This is one of the several different lounge locations in the district, which is, again, like a bar area for the adults. Pub 687 um, is kind of your traditional Irish English pub kind of is the vibe. They have a lot of really cool pictures on the wall of the ship being built. They have a lot of draft beers, lots of different um, drinks, uh, liquors. They do trivia. We're doing Marvel trivia right now. I would like to say I am crushing. Uh, and they have happy hour here. So here at uh, Pub 687, they have a happy hour where all the draft beers are 50% off. And Alan and I have uh, proudly joined the Mug Club. I got you an IPA. It's a it's a loose cannon IPA. It has a pirate tap. I thought it was on on theme for the night. Um, so these were each three seventy five. This is a La Fin de Mon, which is my favorite drink in the Canada Pavilion uh, at Epcot. And then again, this is a pirate IPA. Under four dollars each for these. And then if you join the Mug Club, you buy the mug for sixteen dollars, and then you can continue to refill it throughout your cruise. And um, you get a twenty two ounce pour for the price of a sixteen ounce pour. But here's the deal: it's not just this cruise. It's every cruise. Yeah, this is a great deal if you are a constant cruiser. And so after we're done here, we may fill it again. Um, they give you a little card that you can carry around in your little lanyard pouch. And then when we go to the bar tomorrow or at the pool deck tomorrow, we can hand them the thing. They'll know we're in the mug club and then we can keep refilling it. This is one of the best kept secrets if you are a beer drinker on a Disney cruise. After crushing it in 90s trivia, we find ourselves here in Skyline, where you see this background image changes based on whatever uh, Skyline is in. Every 15 minutes, we have New York, Chicago, Rio de Janeiro, Paris, as well as Hong Kong. So every 15 minutes, that changes, and we're going to enjoy a beverage here. What's cool, too, is we're in New York right now, so there's New York cocktails. Like, they have the same menu all the time, but then they have special menus for each city. So here's the New York special menus, and then as you go, oh, it's changing. It's Rio. We're in Rio. So now we can look at the Rio cocktails, and now you could order a Caipirinha, a Brazil Breeze, or an Ecotini. It's a really cool bar, very fun, great bartenders, something a little different. And of course, pirate-themed snacks and pirate-themed characters isn't all the fun. There are also pirates entertainment at sea, including full pirates-themed shows, dance parties, fireworks at sea, even a midnight buffet. So we're headed up to the deck to see what pirates we can find. One of my favorite things normally is the music on a Disney cruise, and I love that it's all pirate music. I think the Pirates of the Caribbean score might be my favorite movie score of all time. So I just love that that's what we're hearing. Why did I tell you that? Don't forget the We said it. We need to look. Some rice, some fruits, some desserts, but just know there is a special kind of like 
surprise buffet after pirate night. So if you're into that, make sure you scurry down after the fireworks to get a good spot. It looks like they're playing Pirates of the Caribbean on the big screen. So obviously I'm gonna have to settle in and watch this. I love watching movies out here. Just another perk of being on Disney Cruise. Uh, Alan's still eating tacos. In the meantime, friends, I'm Molly. It's been magical. Are you subscribed? And thank you for following. Bye! Drink up, me hearty Joe Ho.